Let's take a look at the instantiate prefab node and how it works. What the purpose of this node is, is to allow us to create, to spawn objects into the scene. First, we have to create an object, prefabricate some asset, and then it's saved in our assets folder. We then can start referencing it here in the prefab section input and then spawn it whenever we start this execution. There's a limit of how many spawns we get, so we can set this to a higher number if we need to. The parent object, so some object in the scene that will automatically become the parent of our prefab. And after the execution is successful, we can proceed to do whatever we'd like, such as reference the object we just spawned. So this scene object output here will refer to the object that we just created in our scene. And then the total number of spawned objects. This just gives you a count of how many you've spawned so far. Let's test this out. We're going to add an object in our scene, let's say a 3D sphere, right? And I'm going to give it some custom properties that'll make it really obvious. So I'm going to add a rigid body to it. So you can see this sphere just drops as soon as it's spawned in. Now that's all it's going to do. We know it has some behavior. I'm going to drag and drop this into my assets folder and I've created a prefab out of it. It's a prefab now. I can delete it from my scene and reference the prefab asset in our instantiate prefab node. Now let's say I want this to occur, you know, just whenever we tap our screen. So a screen tap will make this instantiate node occur. Boom. But we are missing something. We're missing the parent object. So let's create a scene object, just an empty scene object, doesn't do anything, just so that we have something to reference in our scene so it knows where to spawn the sphere in. Boom, there we go. And every time we tap our screen, it's just going to spawn in more and more of these spheres. And as you know, they have rigid bodies, so they're falling down due to gravity. No colliders, of course, yet. But that's what's happening with our instantiate prefab node. Okay, now let's say we wanted to do something with this object once it's spawned in. One great example is for shooting a, a bullet, for example. So we spawn this in, and as soon as it's spawned in, we add a force to it and launch it in a given direction. So to do that, we're going to say, as soon as this scene object is spawned in, we can then get a reference from this scene object. So let's say, get component by type. So we'll get a rigid body from this spawned scene object. And we'll say this rigid body, we're just going to add an impulse to it. So we'll apply an impulse, like so. And the direction of the force will be, let's just say, one away from the camera. So right now it's pointed towards the camera. So we'll say negative in the Z by 100, just to see what happens. And then we take the execution that will occur, the execution successful, will then apply that to this rigid body. So if I hit now, now as you can see, it's been launched forward. It might be difficult to, for you to see, so I'm gonna add some horizontal force as well so that you can make that out a lot easier. As you can see, every time I spawn it, as soon as it's spawned, a force on its rigid body is added on this diagonal.